this, my face is extremely puffy. And, um, this sucks. In October 2023, Michael Strahan took a leave of absence from hosting Good Morning America and claimed he had to tend to personal family issues. Recently, the public learned that Michael spent those days by his daughter, Isabella Strahan's side, as she underwent the first weeks of her cancer battle. Then, at 18 years old, Isabella was diagnosed with a brain tumor after experiencing excruciating headaches, nausea, and vomiting. She underwent an emergency surgery to remove the malignant mass behind her brain a day before turning 19 on October 27, 2023. Although she kept the initial months of her battle a secret, Isabella documented her journey and later shared it on social media. Some of her shares included pictures in the hospital, with Michael by her bedside. Her twin sister, Sophia, was also a source of support during those weeks when she recuperated from the surgery, relearned how to walk, and underwent radiation therapy. Since Isabella Strand decided to share her journey publicly in a sit-down interview with Good Morning America, her father also shared his thoughts and feelings while watching his daughter fight a life-threatening disease. Michael, who learned of the diagnosis before his daughter, admitted that the situation did not feel real at that time. His first thought was how to get to his daughter, a California student, as fast as possible. You learn that you're probably not as strong as you thought you were when you have to really think about the real things, and I realized that I need support from everybody, he said. As an athlete, Michael is tough and ready to handle whatever is thrown at him. However, everything changes when he is no longer on the field and is at home as a father. The hardest thing to get over is to think that she has to go through this herself, he added. Isabella's disease, medically called metalloblastoma, is a tumor more common among young children. Those in their late teen years rarely get the diagnosis. Nevertheless, Isabella shows bravery and strength as she faces the most brutal battle. She will begin her chemotherapy sessions in February. Michael Strahan's daughter Isabella is continuing to keep fans updated on her brain cancer journey. The 19-year-old model, who was diagnosed with a malignant brain tumor known as a metalloblastoma in October, posted her 11th YouTube vlog, Tuesday titled, Two Surprise Trips to the ER. The student shared that she ended up in the hospital for three or four days because she'd been getting a lot of fevers after her first chemo treatment. If you get a fever of 100.4, you have to come in, she said. During her stay, she underwent her first blood transfusion and an MRI of her eyes. She celebrated her last radiation treatment in January. In the new video, she also documented a blurred clip of her getting her chemo port cleaned before finally heading home, only to return to the hospital hours later. I catfished everyone. We left the hospital after three or four days and now we're back less than 12 hours later because I have a fever again, she explained. I got a fever of 102 and had to come back in. So we're trying to figure out what's wrong but no one can find out what's wrong. This is the worst fever I think I've had, she added. I don't feel as horrible as I did the first time. I just have a really bad headache so I thought nothing of it, and now we're in the ER. I don't feel great. I don't feel horrible. I felt worse but I don't feel good. I feel like I can barely walk now. Michael's girlfriend, Kayla Quick, accompanied her to the facility, noting that Isabella was able to easily walk laps through the hospital two days ago. It's really declined, Isabella said. Michael addressed Isabella's recent setback on Good Morning America. Isabella Strahan underwent an unexpected second brain surgery due to a setback while recovering from her first round of chemotherapy for her brain tumor. On Wednesday, the 19-year-old student and model posted the 12th installment of her YouTube series, where she's been sharing her health journey after having emergency surgery in October 2023 to remove a large metalloblastoma, a type of malignant tumor, in her cerebellum. In the vlog, Isabella says she's heading into surgery at 8 a.m. to undergo her second craniotomy nearly five months after her first. I'm actually very nervous. I'm more nervous for this one because it's not like my brain that they're messing with. It's not as deep. But I'm curious as to what recovery would look like, she said. I'm not excited. At all. I'm actually kind of nervous. Yay. How lucky am I to get another brain surgery, she added sarcastically. Isabella explained that during surgery the doctors cut open the scar in the back of her head to clean and drain fluid out so there are no infections. They also replaced the bone that was initially cut out of her skull. Following the procedure, she showed herself laying in her hospital bed with her entire head wrapped in bandages, admitting that the pain was difficult to handle. I'm in so much pain, and this sucks. I was in so much pain earlier, I was like screaming. This is not fun, she said. Hopefully this is what was causing all my fevers and why I've been in a hospital for a week. So hopefully I will get to go home soon after I heal from this. But I don't feel my best. Isabella gave a glimpse at the back of her head staple up after surgery, showing the painful moment she screamed as her doctor removed a tube from inside her skull.
She detailed how tough the recovery process is while trying to stay optimistic. My face is so puffy, it's insane. I feel really awful and I was not expecting to come out in this head wrap thing, she said. I'm just in a lot of pain. It sucks. I was way more drugged up for my first surgery because it was more invasive. It's not fun getting your head cut open, she continued. It's not fun but I'm super glad I can still walk and talk and they didn't touch my brain because doing that again would be really really rough and I don't think I could do it. I could do it, but it would be rough again. Isabella said her second round of chemotherapy has now been pushed back a week because of the unexpected craniotomy. She said it would be horrible to go into chemo before fully allowing herself to heal. The model then showed herself taking a very slow walk through the hospital while being assisted by one of her doctors. She was also surrounded by a group of friends who came to visit her. I feel like I lost every progress of my walking since October, she teased before remembering, this isn't the worst it's been. Isabella's unexpected surgery came when she was hospitalized for four days after catching a high fever during her chemo recovery, which she documented in her last vlog earlier this week. This is the worst fever I think I've had, she explained. I don't feel as horrible as I did the first time. I just have a really bad headache, so I thought nothing of it, and now we're in the ER. I don't feel great. I don't feel horrible, Isabella admitted. I felt worse but I don't feel good. I feel like I can barely walk now. Her father's girlfriend Kayla Quick then pointed out that she was easily walking laps through the hospital two days ago before Isabella added, it's really declined. While at the hospital, Isabella underwent her first blood transfusion and had an MRI of her eyes, calling herself the MRI queen. She also had her chemo port cleaned, which she said was really painful. Before preparing for the craniotomy, Michael Anthony Strahan is an American television personality, journalist and former professional football player. He played his entire 15-year professional career as a defensive end for the New York Giants of the National Football League (NFL). A dominant pass rusher, Strahan is currently tied with T.J. Watt for the most NFL single-season quarterback sacks and helped the Giants win Super Bowl XLI over the New England Patriots in his final season in 2007. Since retiring from the NFL, he has become a media personality, appearing as a football analyst on Fox NFL Sunday and later serving as a co-host of ABC's Good Morning America as well as Live with Kelly and Michael with Kelly Ripa from 2012 to 2016, for which he won two Daytime Emmy Awards, plus guest appearances on game shows and other programs. In 2014, he became a regular contributor on Good Morning America, and in 2016 the network announced that Strahan would be leaving live to join GMA full-time. He also hosts the current incarnation of the Pyramid Game Show for ABC. Strahan was inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 2014. In 2021, he flew into space on Blue Origin NS-19's suborbital spaceflight. He also does charity work that benefits youth and community development, among other causes.